Hello, and welcome to another episode of Sun School. Today, we are taking a field trip to the Modesto Children's Museum in sunny Central Valley, California. Let's do it. Welcome to Sun School. Okay, we are at the Children's Museum, and look at this. This is the latest Modesto Children's Museum, affectionately known as Mo Chi Mu. I can't wait to go inside. Okay, I want you guys to see something. Look at this really, really cool. Look at this really, really cool. Child's door. Isn't that awesome? This is the adult's door. This is the children's door. Okay, and we're in, and we just got told what the rules of the museum are. This is a new, new sim that was just built in, uh, let me see, just opened September 2023. So this is very new and exciting. And so I want you to come in close because I want to show you about the exhibits in the museum. Come down here and look at this. So there's two floors here. So on the ground floor, they have a tall tail stage, a color story train, a light lab, a rainbow vortex climber. So look at all these exhibits here, six exhibits on the ground floor. And on the second floor, they have an air lab, a maker space, little rainbows, a supermarket and a restaurant. And then there's more features here, the educational and toy and gift shop. So maybe we'll get a chance to check that out too. We just got in the museum and right now we're gonna learn about the world of bees. And <clears throat> here's a maze challenge. Come over and look over here. See this? It says you have to buzz around to all eight pink flowers and leave a pollen ball on each one. Isn't that cute? And then let me show you something. Let's go down this way. Come on. Okay, so when we first got in, we saw this amazing shot of what a bee's eye vision would look like. Look at this. Come over here. And this is how bees see. Now, come back and look over here. There's maze challenge four. Visit every room in the maze without retracing your steps. Do you think that you could do that? Look at that whole maze. Look at that whole maze. Okay, we're at the tall tail stage and look at this stage. And so, they have everything here. It's a stage where children can perform and use their imaginations. And come over here and look at this. There's even costumes, look. An astronaut, here's the earth. Just all kinds of costumes. A banana suit, <laughs> a slice of pizza. So the children can use their imaginations on this stage. So this is really awesome. I like what they've done here. So on the tall tail stage, so cute because this is the backstage area. And then just follow me right across the stage. And then we're gonna go into the little dressing room they have for children. So cute. Quickly. This is this cute. Look at this little mirror. And I don't know, is this the light switch for the okay, the children can turn the light on and off. And there's this little area where they can sit up and change into their costumes. I don't think these lights work, but isn't that cute? And there's a little seat there. Isn't that just adorable? Let's go to the next exhibit. Okay, I'm standing in front of the light lab. And within, when you go in here, it says the children can explore the physics of light and color. And so there's integrated projectors and physical manipulatives which will allow children to create their own colors and patterns with light in various ways. So, do you want to go take a look inside? <laughs> I do too. Okay, let's go. So when you first come in, you can see that there's this whole basin of different shapes, right? And there's a projector here, right? And so, depending on which shape you put underneath this projector 
it'll make an image on the wall back here. So see that? So I think, ah, hi baby. So yeah, so you can do little shades and it's really, really cool. And the children seem to like that. So there's different things. And over here, you can see there's an image on the wall over here. And also, this wall right here is magnetic. And, you know, you can just do things like, see, so a shadow comes on the wall and uh, you see there's like a little mirror up here and there's light projecting from it. And so this is really cool. You can do little things and the children are loving it. You can make shapes on the wall. And so some of the children have done lots of amazing things. And look at the little shapes, what they're creating with the shapes that they're doing on the wall. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. And so then when you go further in the room, look what the children see. Somebody put, uh, use the shapes to create the word high on the wall. That's cute. <laughs> but when you come in here, there's all this light and there's this basic shape right here. And the children can come in and there's mirrors. This is like a mirrored area. And the children can come back here and do all these things. Look at this. This is really cool. Look at this. Oh, look. I'm pressing. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is so awesome. When I touch, this is touch manipulated. Come down here and look at this. If I touch a shape and drag it over here, look at how the floor changes. Go over there, you see it? Look at this. Isn't that cool? That is ultra cool. Look at that. And so I can manipulate this on the screen. I can change the different layout. Did you see this? When I change that, you see how it changes? And it looks like there's a projector at the top of the ceiling. Show that. Look at that. You see the projector up there? So that's what's doing it. Can you see that? Okay. Now let's come back down. Let's see what else we have here. Look at this. I can probably change the color. I don't know if that changes anything. But this is quite interesting, isn't it? I put a circle on the floor. So this is awesome. That's kind of fun. That's cool. That is cool. I love this. And then look at this. So again, the children put this up here. You see this? This is fun, right? And then the, the wall is magnetic. So you can put things on the wall and it's sticks. So this is a lot of fun. <laughs> Okay, so I just found a family that's really enjoying themselves at the museum. And I just want to stop and ask them some questions to see how they liked it. So I met a cute little one named Dominic. And we're going to ask Dominic how he's enjoying the museum. Hi, Dominic. Hi. So how are you liking the museum so far? Mm, I was doing trouble. I was doing my kids and I was making trouble and and that's why I want to make eggs and I want to do that thing. And that's why I want to be a superhero. Yes, indeed, baby boy. And so, let me ask you, Kenny. This is his father, Kenny. Kenny, what do you think about the mochi, Daddy, mochi moo, for Daddy. sure? What do you think about mochi moo so far? Uh, we, we went to uh, we went to the Stockton, Children's Stockton Museum. Uh, it's, it, it's a good museum, but I like this one more. It's more interactive, uh, you know, with, with stores, with waters, with the costumes. Just the overall experience here is pretty, pretty different. It's just amazing. Let's talk to your wife, too. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to your wife. Yeah. And this is Mama. So what do you think about the museum? Mochi Moon. I love the museum. As you can see, my son loves it as well. They have um, a lot of different things and activities that the kids can get into for all ages. My son particularly likes the kitchen area. He likes to pretend like he's going grocery shopping and yes. checking out. Yes. Um, you have the water area, the water play area. Okay. And they also have a lot of um, different areas for kids with like sensory issues, which is great mm -hmm. as well. So. 
overall, I think it's great, and I would definitely recommend people to come. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, now we're at the Rainbow Vortex Climber. And this thing is amazing. So if your child is adventurous and loves to climb, when they first get here, it's in the atrium, and it goes all the way up to the ceiling, to the second floor, and they can climb up and slide all the way down this slide. I'll show you what I mean. So here's the slide, and then if you go up, 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 up. Look at how long this and big this slide and extensive is. And then this is the uh, entrance. Children go in this entrance, and you can see it goes all the way up. So let me pan out and show. See how it goes all the way up to the ceiling. Look at this. Look at this. All the way up to the second floor. I'm going to back, back up. Look at this all the way up to the second floor. This thing is extensive. Look at this. I'm going to pan out. Oops. There. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And they come all the way down this slide. The tubing goes around this way. See this? Look at this. It winds around. This museum is busy today. Look at this. It goes all the way around, 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 around all the way up to the second floor. Okay, now, it was too much to go down that slide. <laughs> These kids are going nuts in this place because it's so much fun. But now I'm here at the Color Story Train and it's a bubble powered train. Look, it's powered by bubbles. Yeah. And so the fun thing about that is you can do things with light and sound and the children can touch over things like, for instance, look at this. When I spin it, it turns color. Look at that. Look at that. And then let's go this way. You can put your hands on this. And put your hand prints there. And then what else? Oh, you can come through here. Here's the entrance. Let's go in here. Oh, look. be in here. Cool. And when I look through here, see right through here? Come this way. When I look through here, I can see something. I don't know. Can you, can the cameras, I, there, you see like a little, a little, um, what do you call it? Like a little swimmer, a diver. You can see a diver in there. And when I come over here, come this way. When I look through here, I can see zebras. Wow. And what else? See what else we can see. Come on. Oh, somebody's in there reading a book. Okay, and then there's a color wheel here. There's a color wheel. And you can turn it. That is cool. And let's go down this way. Just keep going down this way. And you go through the train and just learn about all these different colors. Oh, what's this right here? It's called Magic Hands. What does this do? Oh! Look at that! That is cool! I think it's uh, detecting the heat of my hand and making the board change color. So that's really, really cool. On to the next exhibit. Okay, now we're at the Maker Space Lab and look at some of the projects that they're making today. Let's take a look. It says, come in and explore, build with construction saw straws, design, build and test marble roller coasters, make your own mark on the imagination wall. And then let me show what the imagination wall is. Look at this. Isn't this cute? The children are playing tic-tac-toe. And then they had some Mr. Potato Head stuff they were building. And they could make little faces and things like that. So the children have lots of fun in the uh, Makerspace lab. Let's go in. Okay, so one of the tables they have here is where you can build things with construction straws. And so see these little, um, I guess it's part of where you could just connect, like the little connectors and you can build things with them. And so the children are having a blast here at different tables, 
building things out with these construction straws and then just come right here and somebody built like oh like a helicopter isn't that pretty cool look at this so you can really go all out with these things that's pretty amazing let's keep going so as you can see there's like this dry erase board um, and it's like almost from the ceiling of uh, the ceiling up here all the way down to the floor okay and so it just goes almost the full length of this wall back here and people can come in and draw whatever they want see so you can see the eraser there there's some stools for little children to sit on and then there's the marker see the little thing there the board is magnetized so you can just and and you know what i like about this is that you can put the little magnetized uh, marker holder either farther up or further down the wall so the children can reach it. That is just cool. Let's see. See, look at that. See, it just comes right on and off. So I think they did a good job with that. And then look, so people are just drawing all kinds of fun things on here. Look, <laughs> don't erase the mantis. That's funny, huh? This is a caterfly. And people are making new creatures. Look at this. It says, show us your favorite buggy buddies. Look at this one. This is pretty cool. I don't know what kind of creature this is, but this one's pretty intense. So, oh, look at this one. I'm a walking stick. Others mistake me for a stick. So the children are having fun here. It's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I just did some other things over here, down here at the air lab. There's a couple of little stations where you can, children can learn how air works. And if you just used forced air, it can make balls be suspended in midair, or even um, like these little scarves, okay? So let's watch what happens when I put these scarves right in here. And as you can see right here, there's air coming through this grate right here. So I'm gonna put these six scarves in and watch it fly. Okay, I know how much my daughter likes going to the store with me. And you know, it's even better when the store has those little shopping carts for children. Well, at Mochi Moo, they have their own grocery store here. <laughs> Shall we go in and see what's for sale? Okay, let's do it. And so the child can pay for their food and learn how to use math and numbers. Look at this, there's a dollar bill, a $5 bill, a $10 bill, a $20 bill. And they can learn denominations of their coins and money, paper money. That's awesome. I have a little, little man here waiting to check out his groceries. <laughs> <laughs> okay and so then when you come down the way here you can actually put food on this see and there's a working scale here these kids love this grocery store there's a seating area for food and this is like the little deli area so the children can sweep and mop and they can cook some food back here. It's a play stove area. And this young man did a great job. But see, this food, actually they have real barcodes. And so the children can do things and play pretend back here. It's like a real food store. And you know, they just have all kinds of stuff back here. Their imaginations can run wild. Look at this. There's a sink back here. There's all kinds of stuff. And then there's a chalkboard and the children can write down what's on the menu. Isn't that cute? So the children can really go wild with their imagination. This is super cute. Look at this. There's like a food prep area. There's a stove. So there's a stove here. 
right? I don't know if you can open this. No, you can't really open this, but they have knobs. You can turn the knobs here. And the children are just going crazy. They are going crazy. <laughs> this is cute. Oh. So the children want to go shopping in here. And then these children are going crazy in here. And then there's even an apron so the children can wear it like they work at the store. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now we're in the store where parents, if you're here, you can buy some educational things for your child, some books or like some toys uh, or, uh, you know, activities. So for instance, um, look at this, this one here. This is a star magnetic building tile. It has 62 pieces, it's for ages three plus, and they have different shapes. So uh, diamonds and you can uh, squares, and they can just build things. And so um, look at this. So the different shapes in here, this has like a star, a triangle. Uh, this is like a ladder. That's kind of cool, huh? Like an L shape and some wheels. So that is nice. And then over here, look at this. It says, express yourself in 3D. So this is a 3D pen, almost like a 3D printer, but you can do things with this 3D pen. And it comes with three spools and three different activities. So that is cool. And so on the box, you can see what you can build with this 3D pen. So that's pretty awesome. I didn't know they even had anything like that. And then come over here, look at this book. Ada Twist Scientist. So I didn't even know this was a Netflix series, but um, it's about a girl who likes to uh, work uh, with STEM and learn about STEM and do projects. So that's pretty cool. Let's go back this way over here. And so if English isn't your first language and you speak Spanish, well, they have some of these books in Spanish too. So Pedro, Perfecto, Arquitecto, or Iggy Peck, Architect. Okay, same thing here. Sofia Valdez, Presidenta, Tal Vez. Okay, so that's pretty good. Same thing here. You can get this book, Rosie Revere, Engineer, in English or in Spanish. So that's awesome. And let's go down here and see what else they have. Hmm. They've got some blocks for children, some little building blocks. These look like they're built out of wood. Okay. So, and then they have like these coloring books. So that's nice, some uh, rainbow blocks. Oh, and then here's another 3D pen. Here's another 3D pen. And you can do things and build things with uh, that. So we had an amazing time today at Mo Chi Mu, for short, or the Modesto Children's Museum. It's really worth uh, taking the time to come down here and visit because the children will absolutely love it. This is a new treasure in the city of Modesto and I'm so glad they built this. I'm just, I'm blown away by all the fun stuff. That grocery store is fun. I actually like it. I like playing in there myself. <laughs> so come, bring your friends and enjoy coming down here and have an amazing time with your children. All right, and we will see you next time on Sunscore.